So at this point now we've got our drawing, we're going to use coffee to build up some tone. Okay, so coffee is a really good one. It makes a nice natural look uh, when you're trying to build up tone and then it's really good for using pen or pencil over the top of to get that extra bit of definition. Okay, so I've got two different types of brushes. I've got just a, a straight, a, so almost like a flat, flat head brush and then I've got a larger one as well. So I don't need anything smaller than that. Okay, I'm just adding in the, the main details to then work on over the top. So what I'm going to do, I've got quite strong coffee in one part and more water in the other. And what that does, it allows me to just fade off some areas. So I'm going to use the darkest areas, which are down here and then across up here for, to begin with. Okay, because remember, it's quite a rough stage, this, to then work in over the top. So using my darker area of coffee, I'd always try it first, but I'm... I'm actually using my hand to get accurate edges, so when I turn around, I'm just pivoting on my wrist or my elbow to get nice straight marks. So you can see that I've got quite a harsh edge on that. So I'm going to run that in the water, using the water like we would with watercolour, just to blend that out. Okay, so I've used that water on my brush just to blend that other one out. You see how it's starting to get the coffee back into my brush. I use my water again and that cleans out my brush. So what I do is run it through the cold water and then that will clean it off. If I've got areas like this where the paint starts to come together because I've got too much water on it, run your fingers through the brush and dry it out or use a bit of paper and that will then turn the brush into like a sponge and you can soak that paint back up and that will blend it nicely into the rest of it. Okay, so that's basically our method of adding tones. I'm going to show you that again. So I use quite dark coffee in my brush. And down here is really dark, so I'm going to use that along the edge here. Okay, moving my arm around to make sure that I've got nice sharp edges. And then using the same brush or another one, I run it through some water to get the coffee out of it. And I use that watered brush just to blend those colours together. Okay. And then if I want to kind of sort out areas like this, I'll clean my brush in the plain water again, run my fingers through it so it's dry, and just use the dry brush as a sponge to blend those two colours together. Now things to remember are that once you've done this over the top of a pencil line, like this one for example, you can't then rub that out because it's fixed in there. So try and be accurate at this stage and if you make a mistake use a bit of water on a brush just to clean off those pieces dry your brush off once you've cleaned it and soak all that back up again okay